Hello my friends, and welcome back to the channel, you're watching Core Electrical Engineering, and today we're diving into one of the most exciting and controversial EV battery developments we've seen in a while. General Motors, together with LG Chem, has just unveiled a brand new battery chemistry that could completely reshape the future of electric trucks and SUVs. These are lithium manganese rich batteries, or LMR batteries, and they promise to deliver higher energy density, significantly lower costs, and enable massive vehicles like pickup trucks to travel over 400 miles on a single charge. But while the headlines sound like a game changer, there's more to this story, and not all of it is good news. Now, what makes these LMR batteries special? According to GM, the batteries use a prismatic cell format and a unique composition that completely removes cobalt and drastically reduces the amount of nickel needed. Instead, they rely heavily on manganese, which is not only cheaper but also far more abundant and ethically sourced. For context, current NMCA batteries used in GM's EVs are composed of roughly 85% nickel, 10% manganese, and 5% cobalt. In contrast, the new LMR batteries flip this on its head, they're made of 65% manganese, 35% nickel, and zero cobalt. This shift alone could dramatically reduce the raw material costs associated with battery manufacturing. But that's not all. GM is claiming that these new LMR batteries offer around 33% higher energy density compared to lithium iron phosphate, LFP, batteries, all while maintaining a similar cost profile. That means you could theoretically build a smaller, lighter battery pack that still delivers impressive range. For big vehicles like the Silverado EV or future electric Suburbans and Yukons, this is crucial. GM's goal is to power full-size electric trucks and SUVs that can go over 400 miles, that's around 650 kilometers, on a single charge, without the massive weight and cost that comes with current Heineckel battery packs. So what does this mean for the consumer? Well, right now, a Silverado EV Long Range LT starts at around $75,000. With a 30-40% to reduction in battery costs, we could see future EV trucks drop to $65,000 or even less, potentially making them cost-competitive with traditional gas-powered trucks. That kind of price drop, combined with long-range and fast charging, would remove one of the final barriers keeping people from going electric, especially in rural and commercial markets where big trucks are a necessity. However, and this is a big however, there's a major challenge with LMR batteries that hasn't been solved yet, at least publicly, longevity. That is, how long these batteries can last before degrading. Many companies, including Tesla, have been researching lithium manganese rich chemistries for years. The recurring issue is the same. While these batteries perform well initially, they degrade significantly faster than both LFP and NMC batteries. This means after a few hundred charge cycles, you could see a steep drop in range something no truck owner wants. GM hasn't provided specifics about how they plan to solve this issue, and while they're optimistic, announcing production plans for 2028, the timeline alone raises a few red flags. If they truly solved the longevity problem today, why wait three years to start building them? It suggests that GM and LG Chem are still in the validation or pilot phase and that durability testing is ongoing. There's also the question of intellectual property these aren't purely GM's batteries. LG Chem has been working on manganese-rich chemistries for some time, and this partnership may mean GM isn't holding the entire IP deck, which could limit its competitive advantage. Still, if GM can pull this off mass-producing LMR batteries with high energy density, low cost, and acceptable durability it would be a monumental leap forward for electric vehicles, particularly in North America where full-size pickups dominate the market. It could also put serious pressure on Tesla, Ford, and Rivian to respond with battery innovations of their own. And speaking of Tesla, their semi is scheduled for mass production next year which could revolutionize freight transport in the U.S. Meanwhile, over here in Australia, Scania has received approval for electric semis with a massive 624-kilowatt-hour battery pack, which are now available for regional use. These new electric trucks are not only better for drivers but also safer, cleaner, and more efficient than their diesel predecessors. 
To wrap things up GM's LMR battery announcement is big news. It has the potential to transform electric trucks, cut costs, and shift the entire EV market. But we've seen bold claims before, and the real question is whether these batteries will last. Are we witnessing the start of a real revolution in battery tech, or just another overhyped promise waiting to be delayed or quietly shelved? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think GM's onto something here? Do you trust the 2028 timeline? As always, thanks for supporting the electric movement. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a breakthrough. Forget everything you thought you knew about batteries, because we are standing on the edge of a historic shift in energy storage technology. The age of lithium ion dominance is coming to an end. In its place, a bold new innovation is rising. Tesla's 2025 super aluminum ion battery. Elon Musk has just unveiled this revolutionary technology, and it's not just another incremental upgrade reserved for high end electric vehicles. This time, the transformation is for everyone, from engineers and EV enthusiasts to everyday consumers. In today's video, we're diving deep into how Tesla is redefining battery technology, why they skipped the much hyped solid state battery route and what aluminum-ion innovation means for electric vehicles, energy storage, and the future of sustainable power. Tesla's greatest bottleneck today isn't innovation or demand, it's battery supply. Elon Musk has emphasized that battery packs remain the limiting factor in Tesla's ability to scale production. But instead of waiting for marginal improvements or solid-state technologies that remain years away from practical implementation, Tesla has leapfrogged into aluminum-ion chemistry, a technology that's ready for immediate deployment. Unlike solid-state batteries that rely on rare materials and complex processes, aluminum-ion batteries are built from abundant elements like aluminum and graphene. These materials not only reduce the cost of production dramatically, but they also simplify manufacturing to a degree never seen before. And most critically, this new battery type is fully compatible with Tesla's existing Gigafactory infrastructure, allowing the company to pivot at scale without costly retooling. For years, solid-state batteries have been touted as the future, promising higher energy density, safety, and longer lifespans. Automakers like Toyota, BMW, and Mercedes have funneled billions into the technology, but the dream has stalled. High costs, up to $100 per kilowatt hour, paired with complex materials like ceramic electrolytes and ultra pure lithium, have kept these batteries out of reach. Tesla, in contrast, has chosen not to wait. Aluminum ion batteries can be produced for as little as $10 to $20 per kilowatt hour. That's up to 80% cheaper than solid state batteries and about 75% less than conventional lithium ion packs. These savings are not just about margins, they enable Tesla to build vehicles that are truly affordable. The upcoming $17,999 Tesla Model C, set to launch in late 2025, will be the first car powered by this technology, offering long range and fast charging at a price point that could finally bring EVs to the mainstream. And Tesla isn't stopping with the Model C future iterations of the Model 3 and Model Y, expected to arrive in 2026 are also slated to feature aluminum-ion batteries. This move will enhance their range, slash charging times, and reduce costs, making them more attractive than ever even when compared to gasoline-powered cars. But perhaps the most game-changing aspect of aluminum-ion chemistry lies in its durability. While lithium-ion batteries typically last 1,500 to 5,000 charge cycles, roughly 8 to 10 years, aluminum-ion packs are rated for 10,000 to 15,000 cycles. That translates to more than 1 million miles of driving, likely outlasting the vehicles themselves. Just as important, these batteries do not suffer from dendrite formation, which is a major cause of degradation and even fires in lithium cells. With aluminum ion, there's no thermal runaway, no sudden failures, just stable, long-lasting performance. If extended lifespan wasn't impressive enough, aluminum ion batteries offer lightning-fast charging. Current EVs using lithium ion or even prototype solid-state cells still require at least 20 minutes for a full charge under ideal conditions. 
The internal resistance and slow ion transport hinder speed and efficiency. But aluminum ion batteries feature 1,000 times greater ion conductivity and 5 times lower internal resistance. The result? A full charge in just 10 minutes. No overheating. No performance loss. No degradation. This level of convenience fundamentally changes the user experience and vehicle design. Tesla can now create smaller, lighter battery packs that are optimized for efficiency, reducing vehicle weight and cost while maintaining long-range and rapid charging capabilities. This technology also thrives in extreme temperatures, solving one of the biggest issues with lithium-based chemistries. In cold environments, traditional batteries lose range and require expensive thermal management systems. Aluminum ion batteries, however, perform optimally even at minus 30 degrees Celsius, delivering consistent energy without the need for preheating or additional power draw. But the revolution doesn't stop at electric vehicles. Tesla's aluminum ion breakthrough is set to transform home energy storage. Elon Musk has long imagined a future where solar power is stored efficiently for household use, but battery costs have been a barrier. Solid-state systems cost over $400 per kilowatt-hour and suffer from poor discharge rates and energy losses. Aluminum ion, on the other hand, can be produced for just $50 per kilowatt-hour, offers ultra-fast energy delivery, and nearly zero storage loss. These batteries are not only efficient, they're practically eternal. With a lifespan exceeding 30 years, they can outlive most homes, meaning one installation could provide clean, reliable energy for decades. This unlocks true energy independence for consumers, slashes power bills, and enables seamless integration with solar panels and smart home systems. Tesla's aluminum ion battery isn't just a technological leap, it's a total reinvention of what batteries can do. Safer, cheaper, faster, longer-lasting, and built for real-world conditions, this is the kind of breakthrough that reshapes entire industries. Whether you're an engineer curious about cutting-edge materials, an EV driver hoping for better range and faster charging, or a homeowner dreaming of going off-grid, aluminum-ion technology is poised to impact your life in the near future. So, would you trust your home or vehicle with this revolutionary battery chemistry? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the most exciting developments in electrical engineering and energy innovation, make sure you subscribe to Core Electrical Engineering and hit the notification bell so you never miss the next big leap in technology.